So this lesson, we're gonna do some final tweaks and adjustments, and in the end game, we wanna show all of the remaining cases. And this one, we can select them using the query selector all. So within end game, the game is over at this point. So either way, if uh, the user has gone through to the end, let's select all of the elements that are still hidden. And the one thing they all have in common is that they're all using the same class, which is case. And we've been removing them one by one as they're not visible anymore. So all of the ones that still have the case, I want to be able to show. So they're gonna create a node list of all of those elements and then looping through that node list using for each and then selecting a function. We can grab the elements individually. And what we we'll wanna do is we wanna update the elements. So if the element itself has a class of muted, and this is where we check to see what the classes are on that particular element, and if its class list is contains. So this is a really useful method under class list where we can check to see if a particular class exists in the class list. And if it does, then that means that we wanna reveal that value. So looping through all of them and we can take the text content and update the text content to whatever's contained within val. Because remember, we do have all of the object information contained within the element itself. So once we've got the element selected, then we can get access to those values. And we're gonna add in one more class and adding in a class of reveal. So we're gonna do set that to have a font color of red or something. So going back into the styles and also did wanna update so let's uh, add in reveal first, and this can have a color of red. So all of those are gonna get revealed. And also let's move the sides down. So starting side to top position, and I'm gonna update this to maybe 40 and side top 40. So just make sure it's starting at the same spot. So that shifted down these elements and the amount that we're adding, I'm gonna add in another five there so that we have a little bit more spacing, made them a little bit bigger. So now we're ready to try the game out and just make sure that everything is working as expected. So the player comes into the game, they click a button, they see that they've selected one, now select zero cases, because we've already got that within the settings. So remember it's dynamic. Uh, we're gonna decline the offer. And now it says that we've got 10, select 10 more cases. So decline the offer, go in and select 10 more cases and we should be coming up to another offer shortly. So we have an offer number three, so we get 18, or we can select two more cases. And the reason we're getting 18 is because we've got five that are hidden, and the only big one is 75, so that's why it went down a bit. Uh, so let's go ahead and decline it, and see that we get a, uh, select one more case. So now we're up to uh, 27, because we got rid of some of the lower ones. Let's decline it again. And this was actually gonna be our last offer. Uh, so we're getting 38 on our last offer. So we either can either accept it and take the 38 if we think we've got a one in the case or a decline if we think we've got 75. So this is a good decision point. And I'm just gonna accept it. And it says you earned 38. So something went wrong there. And it also showed all of the elements. So something is a little bit wrong in the source code because we went and we showed everything, uh, whereas we wanted to hide all of the content and we only want to show the ones that hadn't been selected yet. And we also uh, notice as well that because we've put it in game end, we can still click the elements, but we can't show them. So something is still wrong there. And within testing, uh, sometimes it's good to cut down on the size of the values that we have. So you can really easily do that because Remember again that uh, we're fully dynamic, or we should be, and that's another thing that we can test now. So let's uh, see what happens when we go down to four cases and start the game. So select cases, so it divided it nicely. Select our main case, and great job. So now we've got uh, an offer of 100, or select one more case, and too bad, I got rid of the 200, so the offer went down. And if I decline it, then your case has two tickets. So that's right. And it showed all of the ticket values that were available. 
Uh, so this is something that we don't want to do because we want to hide these elements. So we actually want to remove those elements from the page when they've been selected. So another thing that you might want to do if you're troubleshooting, I know we've got a lot of console messages, so that can lead to some confusion. And let's uh, do a find and replace. And I'm going to replace all of the console log with the backslash backslash console log. So that will disable all of them. And in brackets, it's just replace all. So we can save it. And then we can uh, troubleshoot it a little bit better and see what's exactly going on because we don't know why we're not getting the deal proper. And one of the things that we can immediately tell that's wrong is that we don't need to be looking for ones that have muted. We wanna look for ones that don't have muted. So let's save that and refresh and try it one more time. So select a case, select number three, too bad. Let's decline and again, decline. Your case has one, so that's right. And the other one had two. So that worked out right and that worked out correctly and that turned it red. So one more time, we're gonna play that through the game. And this time, if we get an offer, we're just gonna accept the offer. So we earned 67 and it showed that we actually had two in our case and the remaining ones were one and 200. So you can still hover over those, but they're not clickable anymore. So all of the gameplay and everything looks like it's working properly and use console log to debug as needed and as well set up uh, different values. And because it's made dynamically, uh, this is something that we should always test as well. So test it with less clicks, save yourself some time, uh, or you could just play through the game as you expect, uh, update the offers as needed. So the offers generally, you're not gonna get all of these offers at once. So maybe update these to be better intervals. So all depending on what you wanna set the game to and how you want it, the user to play through the game. So now that that's all set up, coming up next, we're gonna do a final code review. And then it's gonna be up to you to take the game, extend on it and try it out and get familiar with some of the functionality we've covered in the earlier lessons.